Now we are going to start the new chapter in mathematics that is called the straight line and to understand a straight line we should be very well known with the slope of the line. Slope of line. Okay. So uh, here I, I want to tell you one more thing. Before learning straight line you should have the very good concept of the coordinate geometry. So uh, I, I just want to tell you here if uh, if you haven't start coordinate geometry then please first go to coordinate geometry get the basic concepts of coordinate geometry and then let's start the straight line okay so to understand the slope of the line uh, let me first draw the coordinate axis let me draw first and then I will tell you here this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis this is the uh, this is the origin having the uh, coordinate 0 0 all right and now like suppose I have a line okay I'm just going to draw a line suppose this is my line mm, okay and let me see this is line L and the line L is here making an angle of theta with the positive x-axis measured in anti-clockwise direction. All right. See, clockwise direction, this is the clockwise direction and this is called anti-clockwise direction. And this inclination, this theta is called inclination of the line L. All right. And is measured as, a, uh, as the angle made by the line in positive direction of x-axis right and while measuring we need to measure in anti-clockwise direction all right because uh, you might be measuring from this side uh, 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 like this this can uh, like this also you might be thinking but not the inclination we always measure in anti-clockwise direction in positive x-axis all right so this theta is the inclination and the slope of the line all right we represent by m and we define it as a tangent of the inclination and here our inclination is theta so tangent of the inclination is called the slope of the line L. So tan theta is the slope of this line L. Alright, where theta is the angle made by this uh, line with the positive x-axis in measured in anti-clockwise direction. Now if you want to calculate this then we need to take uh, we need to take few points. Okay, so let me let me say this is point A having coordinate let's say x1, y1 and let me say this is uh, point B having a coordinate x2, y2 and let's draw a few perpendicular from A to X axis and from B to Y axis and from point A to this point, uh, to this line, okay? And now, uh, let me give the name. Suppose this is A M perpendicular and this is A N perpendicular. Let's say this is A T perpendicular. This is also perpendicular. This is also perpendicular. This is also perpendicular. So since these two lines are parallel, this A T and this O X, so if this is theta, so this will be also theta degree, all right? And now, uh, in the triangle, if you see, in the triangle ABT, okay, I'm talking about the triangle, this ABT, in this triangle, if you see, the tangent of the angle theta, the tan theta is actually the ratio of the uh, perpendicular over the base, and here my perpendicular is actually BT, alright, so it is BT perpendicular over the base, base is my here AT, alright, it is AT. So what is BT now? What is the value of BT? Now see here, from B to this x-axis, our total length is y2, alright? And from this T to here, it is y1. I mean, this value is y1. And from here to here, we have y2. So this particular distance is equal with y2 minus y1, alright? So in the place of BT, I can write y2 minus y1 divided by now, the, what is the value of this 80? Now if you look about the 80, so this particular distance is x1 from here to here and from here to till this till this point, you know, till this point we have value x2. So this particular distance is going to be x2 minus x1. So this is going to be x2 minus x1. So finally my slope m is equal with y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or I can say delta y over the delta x here this triangle like structural delta means the differentiative y coordinate over the difference in x coordinate so our slope is defined as the difference in y coordinate over the difference in, uh, different in x coordinate all right it is the slope of a line is simply the tangent of the inclination or the ratio of the difference in y coordinate over the difference in x coordinate or simply uh, the change in y axis uh, y coordinate over the change in X coordinate at particular time you know um, you can say like within two interval or, or simply you can say like in a line how our y coordinate is changing with respect to the x coordinate that ratio of change of y coordinate over the change in x coordinate 
is actually the tangent of the line and that is actually slope of the line so now in a, in a figure all right uh, suppose suppose uh, this is our this is our figure all right and that time uh, we have a line suppose all right uh, let's say this line uh, this line l is making now angle of suppose 45 degree all right so that time our our slope of this line slope of this line m will be very simple simple tan of the 45 degree and tan of the 45 degree is uh, 1 so slope of this line is 1 now let me take another example you may not be getting every time the angles uh, like suppose you got a you got a line and you know the two point of that let's say this is point three four and this is point let's say uh, point q two one okay so in this case how you'll find out the slope so here also to find out the slope m we know that that is difference of y coordinate that is y2 minus y1 over difference of x coordinate this is the definition of the slope all right and now because we don't know the angle right that is why we're doing this so y2 minus y1 4 minus 1 over x2 minus x1 that is 3 minus 2 so it's going to be uh, 4 minus 1 that is 3 and 3 minus 1 that's going to 1 so therefore our slope in this case is 3 so the slope of the line all right slope of this line is 3 so this is how we need to find out the slope all right you can understand in uh, you can understand in this way also actually slope is you know we have already said slope is actually uh, slope uh, m is actually tan of the inclination tan theta all right so if this is theta let me draw the uh, parallel line here and let me draw like this okay uh, it is actually after drawing perpendicular right so if this is theta this is parallel line so this will be also theta and that then tan theta will be uh, this perpendicular over the base all right and this perpendicular see here from here to here the total uh, from here to here the total length is 4 and this much length is uh, 2 it is it is 2 1 all right so this much length is actually 1 so this particular length this particular length is going to be 4 minus this 1 all right this complete I mean I mean this complete was 4 and this was 1 so it is 4 minus 1 that is 3 and if you see here the complete length from uh, from this origin to here is uh, 3 this much this much length is actually 2 so so this much particular length is going to be 3 minus 2 that's that's 1 so you got this perpendicular 3 and this base you got 1 so this tan theta is actually perpendicular over base and tan theta is a perpendicular over base that's 3 and this how like this also you can understand the slope of the line